I leave the dock with the mindset that I'm going out to start this battle. And it's not just a battle with the ocean and the waves, but it's a battle with myself. You can be in pain, but you've got to push yourself past it. The boat's moving, the waves are pushing you around. You're wet and you're cold and you can't leave. In that isolation in the Bering Sea, you know that mental strength is the name of the game. I've been a fisherman for 13 years. It started when I was 14 years old. Some of my earliest memories of boats are with my dad walking the docks in Ketchikan. I just remember being alongside, looking up at just the sheer size and the mass. The rigging, the cables, the hydraulic cranes. And it was life-changing. I'm 13 years old, my dad's diagnosed with ALS. My parents, they sat us down and said, your dad has Lou Gehrig's disease. It's uncurable, there's no treatment, there's no hope. He was invincible to me. And to see the guy who was my hero the weekend was devastating. When he faced, I think the hardest challenge of his life, he just kept moving. Now my dad's attitude was, well, you know, it is what it is. I just have to work through this. He always wanted two boats and he gets diagnosed with a terminal illness. No better time to buy that second boat. It's like, whoa, <laughs> all right, <laughs> that's, that's going for it he wasn't able to do things. And I went from being the kid shadowing my dad to being the kid working as if I was my dad. I was his hands and I was his eyes in the engine rooms and the wheelhouses of the boats. I was the extension of him learning through what he was telling me. He groomed and tailored me to be ready to take it over. I mean, it was, it was a lot of long days and, and hard, you know, conversations. At 23, I started my career as a captain. It's pretty wild. At the time, and still now, I am the youngest captain in the Bering Sea. He passed away in 2013. He got to see me go out to the Bering Sea for my first time. And I think that year we caught almost a million pounds. And we're really feeding the world as we're catching these fish. It's like winning the lotto, but you worked for every single ticket out there. Our whole industry is based around a natural resource. I feel it's my responsibility to do all I can to ensure that we have a sustainable harvest for years to come. I'm fifth generation fisherman, and I hope that five generations from now, there will still be fish to catch out here. So this year, we've kind of got the whole picture coming back full circle. I've got my 14-year-old cousin working for me. It's cool, I started when I was 14. Now I get to teach him. He's wearing a pair of my mom's boots from 40 years ago. They've been on the water for decades. I don't think there's anything else out there like that, really. There's so many good lessons to be learned out on the ocean and out at sea that it would be a shame to not pass them down. I feel like I have to. You know, I'm not too proud to admit that if my dad didn't have ALS, I probably wouldn't be the captain of a boat. But it's not because he passed away and he gave it to me. It's because he groomed and tailored me to be ready to take it over.
I think if my dad could experience who I am now, he'd be proud. I don't think he'd say that he is, though. I think he'd just keep pushing me to see how far I could really go.